guys, this is Riza Senes of Succulent Plant Hub by Mommy Approve. And kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-subscribe sa channel, please do so para ma-update po kayo sa ating mga darating pang mga videos. Kung mahilig po kayo sa mga succulents and cacti, especially mga Korean succulents, this is a great channel for you. And if you think this video is useful, let me know in the comment section below. So let's start! First is we'll talk about plastic pots. Ano ba ang kagandahan sa kanya? First is economical. Mura at readily available kahit saan pwede mong mabili. Second is you can change your pot easily without disturbing or removing the plant from the pot. Katulad ng ginawa ko dito sa aking opalina, anytime pwede kong ilagay sa ibang pots like a ceramic pot. Third is maraming choices and style na mapagpipilian to make your greenhouse aesthetically appealing. Let's now talk about our terracotta pots. Ano bang kagandahan sa kanya? First is inexpensive and readily available. Kahit nga sa palengke, marami tayong makikita nito, di ba? Second is terracotta pots have porous material or meaning yung air and water can move through the walls of the pot which makes it breathable. The roots can breathe which prevents root rot and soil diseases. Third is, they are also great for cacti and succulents that prefers drier soil. And next one is, terracotta is great for cold climates. The walls of the pot kasi can attract the water out of the soil to help the soil dry quicker. Let us now talk about ceramic pots. Meron siyang dalawang klase, the glazed Katulad nitong hawak ko ngayon, and unglazed. Let's talk about the glazed. Ano ba maganda sa kanya? Ang advantage nito talaga is marami kang choices or style na mapagpipilian. How about the unglazed? Anong kagandahan sa kanya? Unglazed ceramic pots are like terracotta pots. Meaning, porous din ang kanyang uh, material na ginamit. So, ang ating mga roots ay makakahinga dahil breathable din ang kanyang material which can prevent root rot and soil diseases. Pagpanaman natin ngayon ang mga cons ng bawat isa. First is the plastic pot. Plastic pot are not very breathable and not porous. The soil also have a hard time drying out which makes our plants more susceptible to soil diseases and root rot. About the terracotta pots, ano naman ang mga cons niya? First is, they may look sturdy and strong, but often they are fragile and madaling mabasag. Second, change in temperature can also cause them to crack, lalo na pag sobrang init and then biglang uulan, kasi clay expands and contracts which makes them susceptible to cracking. Third, the soil gets dry easily, so you water the plants sooner. Fourth, susceptible sa molds ang terracotta pots lalo na pag ang climate nyo ay malamig at walang enough na airflow. Katulad ng mga house plants na nakatanim sa mga terracotta pots. Lastly, magkakaroon ng mga mineral buildup or deposit sa pots pag dinigan ng tap water ang mga halaman. Ito yung isang reason bakit merong mga puti-puti or white buildup sa mga terracotta pots natin. Hindi naman siya danger sa mga plants, more aesthetic issues lang siya. Pero may mga tao na they think it's rustic looking, so okay na sila dun sa mga white buildup or dun sa mga mineral buildup sa kanilang mga terracotta pots. So, let's move on naman sa mga ceramic pots. First is the glazed pot. Uh, ang disadvantage niya is like the plastic pots, non-breathable din ang glazed ceramic pots. Hindi madaling matuyo ang soil which puts our plants more susceptible to root rot and soil diseases. How about the unglazed? Unglazed uh, ceramic pots are very expensive. Ito yung mga pottery kung nakikita nyo uh, pag binibenta sila sa Facebook o kung saan sa social media. Talagang napakamahal ng mga unglazed pots. Hindi lang plastic pots, terracotta, and ceramic pots ang pwede natin pagtaniman ng ating mga succulents. Pwede din tayo magtanim sa metal, glass, wood, and concrete. For metal and glass, pareha lang sila ng advantage and disadvantage for the plastic pots and ceramic pots, while wood or drift woods and concrete are almost the same with the terracotta pots. Given the advantages and disadvantages of each pot, ang lagi ko talagang ginagamit para sa aking mga Korean succulents and also the delicate ones would be the terracotta pot. I also love the simplicity, elegance, and uniformity ng mga terracotta pots. 
and yung mga Korean succulents ko, mas na-enhance ang kanilang vibrance and beauty pag nakatanim sila sa mga terracotta pots. Although I prefer using terracotta pots, meron din naman ako mga halaman na nakatanim sa plastic and ceramic pots. I just make sure na meron silang drainage hole, I use good soil mix, and I do not overwater and dahan-dahan lang sa pagdilig. Sana ay marami po kayong napulot na aral from me today and let me know if you are team ceramic, team terracotta, or team plastic, or kung ano pang team like metal, wood, or glass, or concrete in the comment section below. Let me also know kung meron po kayong mga ideas, suggestions, or kung gusto nyo magpa-shoutout. Isha-shoutout namin kayo. Quick reminder, please stay home, stay safe, happy planting! Bye!